Shiny Pokemon are back in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let's take a look at the exact shiny rates, all the best shiny hunting methods, and show you the ingredients for sparkling recipes within the game. How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here, back again with another awesome Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Tips and Tricks tutorial video. Today's video is teaching you everything you need to know about shiny Pokemon and shiny hunting within the game. Yes, there's going to be a way of getting full odds shinies, there's going to be a way of using mass outbreaks, and of course, there's going to be a method of eating sandwiches. Yeah, it's going to be some pretty interesting stuff, and we've got all of the details right over here for you. So, I respect your time, so make sure that you guys use these chapters on the bottom of the screen to head over to a specific topic that you guys are interested in. We're going to cover absolutely everything. So thanks so much for watching. And while you guys are at it, thank you so much for subscribing and helping us reach 1 million subscribers. All right, we're going to kick off this tutorial with teaching you guys six main things that you need to know about shiny hunting within the game. Now, for starters, the starter Pokemon of Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley at the beginning of the game, along with the cover legendaries of Coridon and Maridon, are shiny locked. So don't bother wasting your time soft resetting at the beginning of the game. You may still be able to get the starter shinies by breeding them, so keep on watching this tutorial to learn how. Number two on our list is going to be teaching you that there's no indication of whether or not there's a shiny Pokemon on screen outside of the visual coloration. There's no shiny sound and there's no visual sparkles whenever you get near. This makes searching for Pokemon in the wild that are shiny a lot harder. Number three on our list is going to be learning that a Pokemon that's out in Let's Go mode will not KO a shiny Pokemon. This means that if you're out and about battling as many wild Pokemon as possible, don't worry about not knowing the shiny coloration of the species that you're looking for. Keep on battling them via the Let's Go method until your Pokemon refuses to battle it. That's when you'll know it's a shiny. Number four on our list is going to be telling you guys that if you're hunting in a group of friends online, a shiny will appear for everyone, but only one person will be able to catch it. So make sure that you have a conversation on who gets what shiny before going on a multiplayer hunt. Our fifth tip is going to teach you that you should not be straying too far away from the shiny Pokemon when you find it, as the game may despawn it. So make sure that you have all of your potions, all of your Pokeballs at the ready before going hunting. And then our last quick tip is going to be teaching you guys that if a shiny Pokemon shows up on screen, save your game. You can battle it and potentially reset your game if you fail, and it'll be waiting for you as soon as you reboot. So now that you guys know a little bit more about some quick tips, let's go into the actual methods and shiny rates of the game. The first one is going to be the full odds method. This method is going to be the hardest, but it's the most accessible for everyone. It's definitely possible to catch a shiny Pokemon at the very beginning of the game, but the chances are 1 in 4096. Our next evolution of playing through the game and boosting our shiny odds is going to be utilizing mass outbreaks. If you pay attention to the overworld map, you'll see a small Pokemon icon that will signify that there's a mass outbreak of that specific species in that general area. If you haven't encountered that Pokemon before, the icon will be a question mark instead. Likewise, if that Pokemon is only available during the day or the night, they won't show up in their opposite availability, regardless of if the icon is there. Now when you walk over to a mass outbreak, you'll notice a little pop-up in the top right corner of the game that tells you that you found it. The fastest way to clear out these Pokemon is to use the Let's Go feature. So start KOing each of the Pokemon with your strong lead by pressing the R button to put them out. Now here's where things get interesting. After you've cleared 30 Pokemon from the mass outbreak, your shiny odds will boost from the base rate of 1 in 4096 to 1 in 2048. If you continue to clear out even more Pokemon and clear out 60 of them or more, your shiny odds will boost from that 1 in 2048 all the way over to 1 in 1365. This is a great way of getting shiny Pokemon. So utilizing the full odds method and mass outbreaks is going to be easy for the beginning of the game. Odds are a lot of you guys will have access to that. If you want to take it a step further and earn the shiny charm, you'll definitely get a lot more shiny odds from doing so. 
Yeah, it's going to be a lot easier, so put in the work and you will get rewarded. After beating the game and collecting all 400 out of 400 Pokemon, head back to the Academy and talk to Jacques in order to report your findings. After congratulating you, he'll give you the Shiny Charm as a reward. Using a Shiny Charm in the wild reduces the 1 in 4096 base rate to 1 in 1365. Now that you guys have the shiny charm, it's time to head on over to Mass Outbreaks. After clearing 30 Pokemon in a Mass Outbreak with the shiny charm, your shiny odds boost will improve from 1 in 2048 to 1 in 1024. Taking that a step further and continuing to clear out even more Pokemon in this Mass Outbreak, after you clear out 60 Pokemon with the Shiny Charm, your Shiny Odds boost will improve from 1 in 1365 to 1 in 819. That is super low. Now that you know about the Shiny Charm and Mass Outbreaks, let's take it a step further and learn a little bit more about Sparkling Sandwiches. Making sandwiches with sparkling power is going to be an additional way of boosting your Shiny Odds, although the ingredients will be very hard to get. Towards the end of the game, you'll have access to and be strong enough to attempt 5-star and 6-star Terra Raid Battles. Upon completion, there's a small chance that you'll be rewarded with one of the 5 Herba Mystica as a consumer item in order to use as an ingredient in the sandwiches. Now once you make one of those sandwiches, you'll have 30 minutes of boosted shiny odds, so you better act fast. There will be three different levels of sparkling power, all with varying shiny odds respectively. Now if you take a look on screen over here, you'll be able to see the exact chart that you guys can use in order to make all these different types of sandwiches. You'll notice that there's not one generic sandwich that allows for a shining Pokemon boost. You're going to have to know exactly which Pokemon you're hunting for, get the exact recipe based on the type, and then sacrifice two of your Herba Mystica in order Order to make that specific sandwich. Now if you don't have the shiny charm and you're looking at making some of these sparkling power sandwiches, your base shiny odds will go from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 1024. If you have the shiny charm and you're eating a sparkling power level 3 sandwich, your base shiny rate odds will go from 1 in 1365 to 1 in 683. Now that is going to be just for wild encounters. Let's now talk about sparkling sandwiches and mass outbreaks. This is going to be your absolute best way of getting shiny wild Pokemon. After eating a level 3 sparkling sandwich and clearing 30 Pokemon in a mass outbreak without the shiny charm, your shiny odds boost will improve from 1 in 2048 to 1 in 819. After eating a level 3 sparkling sandwich and clearing 60 Pokemon in a mass outbreak without the shiny charm, your odds will be improved from 1 in 1365 to 1 in 683. Now let's take that a step further and combine these sandwiches with the shiny charms. After eating a level 3 sparkling sandwich and clearing 30 Pokemon in a mass outbreak with that shiny charm, your shiny odds boost will improve from 1 in 1024 to 1 in 585. Now the absolute best method right over here is going to be eating a level 3 sparkling sandwich, clearing 60 Pokemon in a mass outbreak with the shiny charm. Your odds will then boost from 1 in 819 to 1 in 512. Now some of you guys might be wondering about the Terra Raid encounters. Yeah, these guys are going to be very hard and shiny hunting them is not going to be the absolute easiest simply because none of the Terra Raid encounters are affected by shiny charm bonuses or sparkling sandwich bonuses. And they have a generic base rate of 1 in 4103. If you're looking for a specific Pokemon to shiny hunt and they're not accessible via mass outbreaks, like the starters in the game, you'll find a lot of success with breeding via picnics. Simply place your target Pokemon with a ditto or any opposite gendered Pokemon that share the same egg group and wait until there's an egg in the picnic basket. You can make an egg power sandwich in order to help speed this process up. The base rate for shiny Pokemon from eggs is 1 in 4096. 
If you have the shiny charm, the base rate for shiny Pokemon from eggs goes from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 683. If one of your Pokemon that you're breeding with is from another region, this is called the Masuda method, often used by trading foreign ditto with other trainers from around the world, and you'll be able to boost your shiny odds even further. Simply breeding with a foreign language Pokemon will increase your base rate shiny Pokemon from eggs from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 683. Now combine that together, if you have the shiny charm and you're using the Masuda method for shiny hunting via eggs, the shiny egg odds will go from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 512. Now if standing around and waiting for eggs to spawn in a picnic basket isn't your jam, or your target Pokemon isn't spawning via mass outbreaks, feel free to utilize the encounter powers within sandwiches to manipulate spawns for the Pokemon that you're searching for. For example, you're looking to catch a shiny Chansey, examine its habitat location via the Pokedex, eat a corresponding sandwich that gives you the encounter boost of normal, and then head over there for 30 minutes and proceed to shiny hunt at those wild encounter options odds listed previously. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We went over all the different methods, showed you some different recipe examples for those sparkling sandwich powers. And man, I wish you guys the best of luck. Seriously, which one of these methods are you going to be employing in the future? Let me know. And who's your most wanted shiny Pokemon? For me, I definitely want a shiny Sprigatito. I'm going to shiny hunt that so hard once I'm free to. So anyway, join me in the future when we do that. So if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for even more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We'll be doing live streams and even more tips and tricks tutorials. So I'd love to have you guys on board in our quest for 1 million subscribers. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you out, be sure to share it with another person so that we get more people on board with shiny hunting. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Take care.